What's up everybody? I'm here in CBU, Romania in the Transylvania region. It's a beautiful medieval town here. Really gorgeous architecture. It's just a crossroads of different cultures here. Really cool to see. Anyways though, I'm looking for a great cup of coffee. Got a tip from somebody about uh, a coffee shop that does pour overs and uh, some other specialty coffee. So I'm gonna go check it out. During my stay in CBU, there were multiple parades and performances by local artists, but one stood out. Actors danced slowly through the city center, dressed in white and perched on stilts, in remembrance of the millions lost during the Black Plague. Their costumes and performance were disturbingly beautiful. It's no wonder why CBU is considered the cultural center of Romania, but I couldn't stay long. I had a rendezvous with American Special Forces just outside of Budapest. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? We're out at Zolnok Helicopter Base here in uh, Hungary, about two hours outside of Budapest. And we're getting ready to watch a massive multinational special operations exercise. Now, this is going on across many different nations. The exercise today is going to feature Slovenian, Hungarian, and US Army Special Operations Forces. They're gonna come in on a CV-22 Osprey and assault a target, do a little bit of demonstration today and we're gonna check it out, uh, see how they do it, and see our NATO forces at work.
Large demonstrations like this may look like just another dog and pony show to some, but this exercise plays an important role in building confidence and multinational interoperability and showing near-peer threats that America stands ready to defend her allies in Eastern Europe. All right, we're gonna go for a ride in the Osprey. Uh, they're gonna take us around and show us what this thing can really do. All right, so we're here in an undisclosed location in Hungary, about two hours outside of Budapest. We're gonna be watching a special operations hit go down. Uh, the guys behind me are playing the Op 4, which basically they dress up as bad guys, and then the uh, multinational soft team will come in and, uh, and ball them up. The vehicle drop off to the north, generally the northwest, and then we will uh, conduct a link up with uh, one of the recon elements on the ground. If at any time we get compromised uh, while we're moving in, we're gonna immediately assault building three and establish a foothold into the compound. This training exercise is going on across multiple nations across Europe right now, all allied with the United States. And uh, it's a great opportunity for our special operations forces to train with the people that they would potentially go to war with it, if it ever came down to that. Really looking forward to watching these guys work tonight though. And uh, it's gonna be a nighttime hit, so I don't know how much we're gonna be able to see, but uh, it should be exciting all the same. So tonight, me and a group of uh, Special Forces soldiers and Hungarian soldiers are going to play Op 4 uh, to support a uh, exercise for the American Special Forces and North Macedonian Special Forces. Just getting this kind of experience, um, being able to uh, interact with our allies and, and get some good training in. Alright, window, bottom floor, you're dead. Sniper sees you. Attention, residents of the building. This is the coalition forces. We have shot and killed some of your people already, but no one else has to die. Surrender now and come out with your hands up. Special Operations Forces, or SOF, don't pick their targets at random. There's a method to the madness, and it's called the F3 EAD targeting methodology. Dude, get that, check that dude, get his gun away from him. Yeah. The cycle starts with finding the target and then fixing him or her in time and space. Then the fun part begins, finishing the target. This could mean dropping a bomb in a kinetic strike or sending in a special operations unit to conduct a surgical raid, like the one being shown here. Right, we got nothing to bit, then we can move to building two. Wait Roger, for we're, we'll stand by at the main entrance. All right, guys, I'm just waiting here back from, we're trying to figure out if we've got enough to run a line main between those two IEDs. That way we can bit this with okay. our system. What was your assessment on that thing against me? Some sort of unknown explosive? Yeah, it looks like, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's weird looking because it looks like a linear it looks like a linear charge mm -hmm. he's for cutting, but the base of it's got fragmentation on it. Okay. And it's hard to tell if it's just a, uh, if it's just got a magnet or some rubber, but the rubber's rounded. So it, 
it could be a pressure switch. But after actions on are complete and the building is secure, the real work begins. The operators must conduct SSE, which stands for Sensitive Site Exploitation. This is the E in F3 EAD, and it basically means that they need to search every nook and cranny of the target building for usable intelligence. It's not the most glamorous aspect of special operations, but it's a vital cog in the machine SOF uses to dismantle enemy networks. After they exploit the target, they'll take what they found back to be analyzed. That analysis will then be disseminated out to the force to start the cycle all over again. In order to do this in combat, SOF units train relentlessly to make the task as routine as riding a bike. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah. 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 When most Americans think about special operations and the missions that they're doing, they probably aren't imagining doing training raids in Eastern Europe. But it's exactly these kind of raids, like the Trojan Footprint exercise, that are so important to our nation's security. It's very important for nations like Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, and the other 10 nations that took part in the Trojan Foot exercise this year to know that America has their back. It may have just been a simple training raid tonight, but what it means to the larger picture and the larger strategic view of how America is perceived around the world is much more important. We have capable special operators and we're willing to come to the defense of our friends, if called.